change. Yes, my table's sticky. You've been gone for a few days, okay? Things happened. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the rhino. How come I'm hidden? You You're have Mrs. Not rhino. Hidden. You're not I'm hidden. hidden under the rhino. You have Mrs. Rhino over there. We're going to drink a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Jordan from Reviewing Under Influence. So thank you very much, Jordan. I saw that. Put the loony back. We are going to be drinking Cowbell from Wild Rose Brewing Company, which is a kettle soured beer at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Cabell. A, a Cabell. I lost my Cabells. We were going to play with the Cowbells because I had two Cowbells. Now I have no Cowbells. I don't know where my cowbells are. What are you doing to my plant? I'm putting it on display. It's mine. That is my plant, lady. Did you water the one in the washroom? No. You said you were watering them. I didn't say I was watering them. I said I, there was two plants I didn't water in the exactly. house. Exactly. Intending that you were watering them and you were going to water them. Well, I think that's what I was doing. No, it's not. Okay, so we were discussing in the car on the way home that she actually likes Berliner Weisses. And I said, hey, I have a sour beer. That is. I have a sour beer. It's not quite a Berliner Weiss, but it could be as good or worse. Let's try it. So, look. It's nice and hazy. It's got that haze to it. Like golden pee? haze. Uh, I don't think my pee's ever been that cloudy, and if it is, I would really hope you take me to the doctor. Woo! Give that a sniff. Well, I don't squeeze one of my nostrils shut like you do. Is that acceptable? It smells like beer. Sweet beer. See, I get a little bit of that, like, uh, perm chemical. That, like, burning hair almost. Oh, that's a tasty. Yum. Yeah. It, it reminds me of sleeping in the basement in my house in Ottawa when my mother would have a hair salon in the basement right party? beside me. No, she had a hair salon and she'd always do old ladies and she'd do perms and everything on all the old ladies. And I'd come home from wrestling practice, pass out on my bed and wake up to like this glowing taste in the back of my palate of perm chemical. Maybe that's why you're all vinyl. Maybe. Well, let's try it. Cheers. What the hell's the face on your cup? It's a face. It's me. See, it's me. <laughs> it's not cold, number one. It's not bad. It tastes like apple juice. Well, it tastes better than it smells. It needs to be cold with an ice cube. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It needs to be basement temperature with nothing. No, cold with an ice cube. Basement temperature with nothing. I could drink it. I could drink it too. With an ice cube. It's kind of, it's drying on the back end. It kind of makes you, it, it makes it moorish. It, it just it's dries. Moorish. You want more. Mm. It dries out your palate and you just kind of want to take another sip to wet your palate again. What drink can you drink? But I'll drink a regular person amount. So 4.5% alcohol, it is a lighter beer. Uh, I think this is a good session sour. Uh, the sour is there, but it's not over the top. It's not like mouth puckering or anything, it's just sour. It's just a little sour, and then it dries on the back end. It's a tart like you. Are you saying I'm a tart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a tart. You're okay. a fucking floozy. I am a fucking floozy, that's true. Cheers. Yeah, I can see it sort of being like apple, like just a green apple. Like cheap apple juice. Like, um, almost like unripened green apple when it hasn't turned sweet yet. It's just yeah. completely sour. And, and that, that drying, that drying on the back end could be almost like a, uh, almost like the skin of the apple. Like when you gag on it? I've never gagged on the skin of an apple. Are there things you gag on? Skin of an apple. Yeah, the skin of an apple? Just the skin of an mm -hmm. apple, okay. Out of ten? Well, if you're rude to me, I'm just going to leave. 
I'm not being rude to you. You're trying to be rude to me, and I'm just um, throwing it back at you. I'll give it a seven. And give it a seven? Yeah. Um, a second. Uh, let's chug. I don't chug. You gotta chug. I don't chug. You're lucky I'm drinking the beer. You know what? I'd give that a 7.5. I actually enjoy that quite a bit. Quite a bit. So a 7 from Mrs. Rhino. 7.5 from me. It's not a bad beer. Thank you very much, Jordan. Good little sour, good introduction sour. If you want a little bit more of like a sweeter sour to get into at the beginning... Maybe Duchess de Burgoyne or something. But this isn't a bad beer at all. So we were drinking from Wild Rose. What were we drinking? I don't know. It was pink. Cabell. The pink one? No, this. Oh, what? oh, Cabell. Yes, Cabell. Where are you? Have you been drinking all night? Oh, I thought you were talking about the other one I liked. No, we weren't talking about the other Why would I talk about the other one you liked? Yeah. Because I'm hidden in a rhino head. You're not hidden in a rhino head. They can see you perfectly fine. Now you're hitting the rhino head. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ow, ow, what did I just step on? Lego. Damn, Lego's everywhere. I can't see you. I'm in a rhino head.